Hey guys, it's Matt here. I wanted to show y'all new item, Streamlights Protac Rail Mount 1. This is a dedicated weapon light. Uh, was announced earlier this year, SHOT Show 2016. Uh, it's come out mid-April and uh, just picked it up as soon as it became available. Awesome option for a weapon light, especially if you guys were ever looking at, say, the Surefire M300 Mini Scout Light. This is gonna be extremely comparable to it, and it's also gonna bring you in an MSRP at about un under $120. Awesome pickup. Now, this is the one, there is a two. This runs off of a single battery. The two is gonna run off of two batteries. Uh, I'll talk about that here in a second, but uh, just wanted to show it for a second. Dedicated weapon light, solid build. It's gonna give you the size and performance, as I said, of a, of a Surefire Mini Scout. Um, one thing right off the bat, speaking of, you'll see it is on a gear sector mount, dedicated mount. This is actually on a Scout mount. So this is compatible with all your Scout mount options out there, your IWC, Thorn Tails and stuff. It's gonna open the door for a ton of different mounting options that you wouldn't find in trying to run any other type of, of flashlight or something. Um, this is going to give you a bunch of different options. Um, comes with a lot of items and parts and pieces that normally you'd have to buy separate on other options or different types of lights. I'll get into the end that in, in just a minute. Uh, this runs off of a CR123 battery, a single CR123 battery. This does give you the option to run with a single AA battery as well, so you can run either or with this light. I don't know the specifics of it, but I know inside of it, it feels like there's an item that you can, uh, a AA battery is going to be a little bit longer than the CR123, uh, but it's got a base inside of it, and when you press that battery down into it, it feels like there's a spring on the, on the back of the plate that accepts that battery into it, so pretty cool option. CR123 battery is going to give you about 350 lumens with this flashlight. Very nice and bright on a single battery source. AA battery is going to cut it down to about 150 lumens. You're going to get under 200, or uh, I'm sorry, two hours of runtime. So about 1.75 hours on the CR123, and maybe a little over an hour and a half on a AA battery. Uh, but both very good options, especially AA battery. The availability, uh, if you're running a 123 battery, and say something happens or you run out of juice with that battery. Don't have any other with you. It's it's easier to find a AA battery than it is a CR123. So that's very cool with that. Now I talked about the mount. I've got this on a Gear Sector Scout mount. Pretty cool option. That'll give you a lot of different ways to mount this. Now out of the box, though, it does come with your regular pinwheel type mount or screw mount. Those actually secure onto the sides of it, little Allen screws there. So out of the box, you already have 1913 compatibility as is, but you can take these off and then mount a scout mount to the light itself for a more secure option, or if you wanna get that light out past the muzzle or as close to the muzzle you can get. Um, cool option there. One of the biggest selling points to me is the fact that it comes with Surefire's pressure switch, and not only a pressure switch, a dual functioning pressure switch. Got a lot of cord here, that way you can mount it anywhere you want to on a rail, either side, further back, closer, on a vertical rip, whatever you want to do. This comes with the package. So you're getting this, you're getting the light, which is going to have the regular tail cap on it. And then you also get the pressure switch, a part of that MSRP at around $120. Awesome, awesome selling point there. This is a true pressure switch. Some of the cheaper ones have actual buttons inside of what looks to be a pressure switch, but they have certain clickable points on it. So you may find a dead spot when you go to put your thumb on it. This one is an actual true pressure switch. So you press down any point on this and it's going to activate the light. You see the strobe feature, I'll tell you that here in a second. Uh, pressure switch here, momentary. You're going to have a constant on button that's going to be a part of the switch as well. Awesome deal. Streamlights logo right there on the top. Click that down, light's going to come on and stay on. Click off. 
momentary, constant. Cool deal. Now, as you saw just a second ago, I had the strobe come on. This is a multi-function programmable flashlight as well. Another bonus that you're gonna get for that price point. Uh, it's, it's pretty amazing what you're gonna get for this. The standard feature out of the box is going to be a high and a strobe setting. So your first click, it's gonna be high. Click on, it's gonna be high. Double tap, it's gonna get you your strobe setting. That's on your momentary, let go. Your constant, you can double tap that, click off, and your strobe is gonna stay on. Click off. That is an awesome feature by itself, the fact that you can do a constant and leave that on. Not to worry about a thing, just leave it on. Cool deal. Now it is sensitive enough that you can use that button if you do have your hand oriented to where you're just on top of that switch like that. You can press for momentary and then click right off if you need it on. Cool feature there too. Now, one of the more annoying things with tape switchers is the fact that trying to mount it somewhere using double sided stick tape or Velcro or all sorts of different zip tops and stuff like that. Well, they've got something for that as well. It actually comes with these two clips that are made for 1913 reels. Those clip on, this slides into it, and it's secure at the back and the front. It actually slides into these mounts and then you clip this on. So that way, it ain't gonna slide off. It's got minimal amount of play in it. Doesn't move, wiggle. It's always gonna be in the same spot. You don't have to worry about any adhesive coming off or anything like that. Now, if you're not putting this on a 1913 reel and you're wanting to put it on a smooth reel or you're wanting to put it like on a wood stock or something like that, they do have mounting options. Uh, wood stocks and stuff, you see there's a little hole there and a hole there. They do come with recessed screws, wood type screws that you can put in and mount it that way. Or you can see these bands cut out here for zip ties that you can zip tie down to a certain like smooth like Troy rails or something like that. They don't have actual rails, uh, 1913 rails on it. Now, if you do need to mount to that for zip ties, guess what? They give you the zip ties in the package deal. So it's got two long zip ties that can be cut down and then it's got two smaller ones for your cordage. That way you can get everything secured down. You don't want this cord hanging out. You can zip tie that up, get that secure. And then inside, guess what? It's got your double sided tape if you want to go that route. And that's the only other option that you have. So, pretty much covered the entire basis there as far as what you get on it. Now, performance wise, like I said, you're getting about 350 lumens on it. It projects a beam about 200 meters advertised. Um, what I've noticed is, being this is a more compact, smaller light option. Um, for close ranges and stuff, what you get is a real nice, tight, hot spot on it. And then you get a fairly good amount of spill that projects out from the sides and stuff. Now, at about 20 feet, your hot spot in the center is gonna be about 18 inches of good, solid light. You're gonna get a nice amount of spill around that. One thing I do notice is the spill ring that comes around the hot spot. The hot spot's gonna be that really bright center and then you get a little bit of light that goes out to the sides. The spill doesn't have a real defined edge, so it does let a lot of light out to illuminate the area around you. A real nice tight focus beam though, for that way you can identify what you were actually aiming at and see everything in front of you. So that's, that's good there. Um, as far as projecting out to 200 meters, I've had it out at about 50 to 75 meters, you get really good projection in that actual hot spot as far as being able to identify items and stuff in the dark with it. Out past that, you can see shapes. You know, if a person was standing out at 200 meters and I shine this light on them, I won't be able to see what's in their hand. I'm not gonna be able to see, you know, what they're wearing, identification, you know, facial features and stuff like that but I'll see that there's a person standing there. So it does project light quite a ways for a single battery for a small compact light with a, a smaller ring bezel. This is a, a smaller head to this than some of your other larger, or like the Railmount 2 series, it's got a larger head to it. But it does project an ample amount of light out. What you get though, for the price again, under 120 MSRP, awesome option you're really not gonna go wrong with something like this. 
It's a cool bar. Go check it out. I've been extremely happy with it, and I think you guys will too. As always, guys, stay safe.